Now, number seven is another controversial one, and that is the rule of closing your fingers to get the maximum amount of pull. So when you swim, a lot of people say you wanna cup your hands together as tight as you can, squeeze your fingers, and that's how you're gonna pull the most water. Don't swim with your fingers wide open. Don't swim with your fingers completely closed. Well, actually, that's that's not the real case. In fact, you wanna swim with your fingers slightly separated. Now, here's the deal. This is called open finger swimming because what you're trying to do, you're trying to increase the total surface area of your hand. The way you do that is actually by swimming with a few millimeters of a gap at the top part of each of your fingers. And what that's gonna do, it's actually gonna increase the overall surface area of your pull. It'll increase not only the area, but the amount of power and grab that you have on every single stroke. So the rule here is to really close your fingers together as tightly as possible, and that's not true. You wanna have a little bit of a gap between your fingers, and I actually talk about this in my book, Swim Like a Pro. I make a specific mention about the physics of swimming and how you actually get faster. So if you're interested, make sure you check that out. We've also made a video specifically on that topic as well.